Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. What does your person want to say to you? What does Cancer's person want to say to them? Okay. The timing just wasn't right for us. So this person feels like when you and them got together, there could have been certain blockages and things that, you know, were coming between the two of you. And they know they needed to kind of figure some things out. Mm, I hide behind material things. This person could be really concerned with, like, their work, their money, that type of thing. We need to let each other go. So they may be feeling that right now you're just, there's there's too many things that are coming between the two of you and it's making it really hard to be together. Especially if this person is very preoccupied with money and like material financial things, right? <clears throat> I regret lying to you. So this person hasn't been honest about everything. I'm starting to understand our connection. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So you or this person or both of you could have went through some really difficult periods in your life. And, you know, you were there for each other. You supported each other. This definitely could be potentially you know, one of your soulmates. You know, we have many soulmates in life. Soulmates can be friends, family, lovers, or romantic partners. Some soulmates are with us long term. Some soulmates are with us just briefly, maybe to teach us something. And some soulmates can even be sporadically in and out to help us through certain events of our lives. And so this person should have been honest with you. They know that. They feel like you did help each other in many ways when you were going through things. But right now, it's just not the right. They feel that right now we need to let each other go because the timing is just not right for the two of us. There are too many things that kind of keep getting in the way. For some of you, that could be like um, unhealed trauma, past situations, money. It could be many things. Let's take a look and see what is going on for you and this person. What is happening between Cancer and their person, please? What is happening here? We have the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Justice card, Libra Energy. We also have Libra Taurus under the deck as well with the Empress. Okay, so a, a couple of things I can get with this. For some of you, it could have been that maybe you were married to this person. Or there was some type of um, family situation with like a mother or mother figure or like the mother of their children or something. For some of you, you might actually feel that this is your soulmate or this is your twin flame. There's, so there's something about this person. Again, I'm starting to understand our connection where you feel that there is some reason your paths have crossed. 11-11. Two of Cups. There was so much potential here. But this person wasn't fair. They weren't balanced. They weren't honest. For some of you... And again, take what resonates, leave what does not. For some of you, they could have had like a marriage with one person and a romantic relationship with another person. And things were not balanced. They were not being honest. Some of you, they may have had a family. Okay. How, what what are they thinking about you? What does this person think about you? Remember to always take what resonates and leave what does not. What are they thinking about what they think about you? What do they think about? For some of you, they could have stayed with someone else because of money. Because a lot of money was invested into a situation. <clears throat> This person was afraid to pursue a connection with you because they felt there would be some type of material loss. As an example, let's say that maybe you and this person live in different states or countries or something. That could have been a very significant move. Maybe in order to be together, somebody had to give up their job, relocate, right? Distance could be a factor here. For others of you, it could have been like a cultural thing, like maybe you come from different cultures or backgrounds and the family would not back them or something in regards to like some kind of family business. But for some of you, I do feel like this could potentially be about, especially with this justice energy, it definitely could talk about 
some type of like formal separation, like uh, legal separation or something, where they felt like in order to pursue you, they would have to risk losing a lot of money. And this choice almost feels you know impossible to make. Because I see this person who, you know, may have some kind of attachment to their past, but they're looking toward their future. Someone's being guided to this, this lighthouse, this beacon of light here. But this is a long journey, right? And they're comfortable where they are. And again, you know, hiding behind material things, money. This person's afraid they're going to lose everything. They do like feel like shut out. They miss you. They think about pursuing you. What are their feelings? What do I feel like I'm doing a Libra reading? I mean, we do have Libra here, but I also get Scorpio strongly here. Five of Wands. Their feelings. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is not someone who is happy. Under the deck is the moon, Pisces, Cancer. This person feels they cannot make a right choice. They feel there's no answer. They feel there's no solution. And again, I won't... I won't ever justify negative actions, behaviors, etc. Okay, but you're here for a purpose. Whether we agree with your person's perspective or not, we want to understand their side of things, right? Because you know your side. They feel like there's no right choice. They feel like if they move toward you, they lose everything. People are mad at them. Everything's complicated and difficult. But if they stay where they are, they lose you in the process. Maybe they're comfortable financially, but they feel alone physically, emotionally, and they're constantly in some kind of situation that there's already conflict. This person feels trapped. For some of you, you might have been aware at some point in time, after this was revealed to you, their circumstances... And tried to offer them solution. Maybe you were there. Like, I know you're going through a lot. I know this is really difficult for you. Trying to be supportive. But there came a point in time where somebody might have said, it's this person or it's me. For some of you, an ultimatum might have caused this to abruptly end. We need to let each other go. The timing's not right. I'm not at a place in my life where I can commit to you. I don't want to risk this financial security what I've invested in. For some of you, I feel like this person could have spent 10, 15, 20 years, maybe more, maybe you know a little less for some of you, investing into some situation, you know, buying a home, car, you know, money in the bank, all of this. They've invested everything into something, into someone. What are their intentions? Okay. I always recommend you guys get personal readings. If not with me, with someone that you trust me, and I'll tell you the truth. I feel like this person is trying to smooth things over in their current situation. Like trying to take this person out to dinner, trying to spend more time with them, you know, trying to like work toward building like a family. And it's in um like attempts to buy time or get them off their back about something. Because for some of you, they, like someone may know or suspect. It's like they're trying to be more romantic to this partner to keep some type of peace. But they're still thinking about this third party. They're trying to like find happiness, focus on their current situation. What actions can you expect from this person? There's a blog. Like you and them may not currently be in contact, 
because they're focusing on like their mere Aries energy. Strong Aries. Yeah, there's a block because this person's trying to focus on their current situation. They're saying the timing's just not right. They are not at a place where they feel confident in leaving something in order to move towards you. Okay? This is, this, I know this is hard to hear. Again, check your moon, rising, Venus signs. If this is not your story, please don't try to force it to fit. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I cannot stress that enough. As an example, I am a Virgo sun. However, I very rarely watch Virgo readings. I know some people do resonate more often with their sun sign. Good for you if that's your case. Some of you might not be. Like, as an example, I am a Taurus moon. I have a Leo stellium. I find personally that Leo and Taurus are readings that I'm more drawn to most of the time. Um, so check your other placements if this doesn't resonate. And even if it does, for more insight. I think that this is, there's like a blockage between you and this person. They're trying to renew or make something work or keep the harmony or peace in their situation. But they understand there's something about your connection where they feel like you're meant to be together. You helped her a lot. They regret lying to you because you didn't deserve that. You were there for them. You supported them. You cared about them. But they're, they're detaching because they don't want to lose what they have. They don't want to lose their money. That's their fear. They're prioritizing this right now. Now, I think they plan to eventually try to come back around because they're not, like, letting go of this idea of making this work. But right now, they're trying to keep the peace in a situation where somebody may have gave them an ultimatum. It's me or them. And they chose holding on to their money, possibly children or their home, whatever it is they've invested into. So that is what I have for you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.